Fishing Freaks, the hour is growing near for our first experience with the peacock bass. Just woke up this morning in this village here. All the fishermen in the village are getting out to go fishing. Nothing is different on this boat. We are getting ready to go catch peacock bass. Yesterday we got to see some topwater activity in the evening, got to see some monkeys and some birds and things like that. It was amazing. But in the back of my mind and when I was sleeping last night, tying on lures and everything, getting ready. I was thinking about the explosion, my experiencing my first explosion from a peacock bass. I think I might scream, fishing freaks. I think I might totally go ape wild when I get my first bite. It may take 10 minutes, it may take all day, but when it happens, I'm gonna go crazy. Now it's time to get a little coffee, a little breakfast, get in the boat, meet our guide, and head out onto the water. Stay tuned for the adventure, guys. You're not gonna wanna miss this first bite. You ready to go get him, Gator? Yeah. Vamanos! Woo, baby! <laughs> Take it off on the Amazon, baby! Papagaio? Papagaio? Yeah. Parrots. Oh, okay. Yeah. Tucker. Tucker learning his Portuguese. There's a lot of crazy wildlife here to capture. I still want to get I still want to get a video of a sloth. That would be amazing. I think we've reached our first fishing hole right here. Pescar, aqui? Yes. Primo? Yes. All right, we are gonna begin, baby. Top water? Chop. Chop? Yes. Chop? Mm -hmm. All right, we're gonna get the choppers out. Bien? Bien? Yes. Okay. Okay. We're gonna throw the orange chopper out here, fishing freaks. I'm gonna let Gator take over. This is what we're gonna be throwing right here. Big old wood chopper. I got this on the 7.3 Heavy Phantom. This is a thicker blanked rod. It's gonna load a little bit slower than some of the, uh, the upper end high sensitive rods. So it's gonna be good for throwing these wood choppers. And I wanted a big thick rod to be able to throw this huge, huge bait. And uh, we got 65 pound braid on there. We're gonna start chopping away. More chop, moss chop. Gosh, these things are so heavy. Yeah. Good? Mm -hmm. Oh man, I can already tell you this is gonna, we're gonna be getting a workout with this. This is up. Uh, casting this big plug is more like a lob than a cast. I'm starting to figure out this cadence. You gotta let it float up before you jerk it again. That's the cadence. One, two, one, two, one, two, one, two. Okay. We're gonna move up a little bit. That first little stretch, man, I'm already worn out from fishing this thing. <laughs> it's so heavy. Oh, you really have to, you have to reel up like three or four times or reel down and then just shoo, shoo, shoo. It's that one, two cadence I've figured out, but I can already tell you, this is going to flat out wear me out after days and days of this if this is what they're biting on that's okay i'm ready for it i prepared myself i've been eating good feeling good still can't wait to get that first bite on camera though it's gonna be nuts. 
Ooh, time for the neck buff, guys. This sun is like laser beams <sighs> down here near the equator. It is no joke, man. If you guys come down here, you better take a lot of sunscreen and a lot of long sleeve protection. Oh, one behind it. Oh, come on, baby. Oh, my gosh. It's big. Can I throw again? Oh, my gosh. Big. I was really working it hard right there when he came out. Try the old whopper plopper. Oh my, that is a big bait. Fish breaks. Chop. He'll come back. Oh, the fish! Oh! Oh, it came off! Oh my gosh. Big fish. Big fish. Big peacock just came out here off the end of this point. I'm talking a mondo. Hopefully we're going to get him stirred up with the chopper. Peacocks. No, the one just blew up behind me and there was another big one that blew up on this point. Got him? Got a boy, Tuck? Tucker's on. Jerk bait. Oh yeah, baby. Chop. Chopping time. Good, my wrist was about to explode right there. Oh, he came off. Came off. It's a big one. Oh, my heart about jumped out of my chest. I've had three fish so far blow up on that top water. Uh, Gator says one was about 14. I'm not sure about the others. They're good ones. They're very good ones. Seems like the top water is is getting the big ones to come up. They're just not. They're not swallowing it. They're like just popping it. I've had them hooked just like in the corner on the outside of the face, and they've popped off. One just blew it completely out of the water and missed it. The big peacocks still await, but my heart is pumping, baby. Got a good little mess here, Gator. Nothing like braid and wait six treble hooks. Or big ass bee on my head right now. Bubba nose. That's G over there. Yeah, G and Gator, not to be confused. This is Gator's home. He knows these waters like like the back of his hand. Maybe better. Time to fish again? Yeah. Another fishing spot right here, fishing freaks. Giving her a go. Three bites I've had have been muy guapos. I think that means handsome. I meant to say big. They've been whoppers, 12, 14 pounders. I don't even have a goal for, uh, for catching a fish down here. I mean, anything is awesome. I'm just having an amazing time. But catch one over 15 pounds or so, that would be incredible. Ocean spoon girl will just have to deal with it on the wall. It is so hot down here. The sun is like, it will just bake you. 
Bake you like a tater down south with some butter on it. Boom! Come on, baby. When you're fishing a bait like this, it's you know so hard to fish. You just got to keep your keep your spirits up, keep your concentration up, because it really takes a lot of effort to make this thing do what it's supposed to do and get that action. I've already I've already learned that. If you uh, half-ass it, it ain't gonna happen. You got to really put your effort into it. So I'm pretty much preparing myself to do this all day. I've got gloves on, which I never wear when I'm fishing, but I'm prepared and I'm not using my small muscles. You know, I'm not, I'm not doing this right here like I'd normally do with a top water. I'm basically just putting that, the end of this phantom into my armpit and just moving my body to the side. So I'm using my big muscles rather than working my little muscles. First fish on baby. Yes. Ooh, that's beautiful. Spotted? <laughs> he said not very big. <laughs> oh, that's cool. That's cool, Gator. That's my first peacock. Can I smell it? Let me give it a sniff. Oh, hold this. <laughs> that's G? Yeah. <laughs> ah, there we go. Fishing freaks. It's not as big as those other ones, but it's good to get the monkey off the back. Give it the old Amazon sniff, baby. We'll see ya. Ah, hasta, hasta la vista. Okay, Gator. Yeah. Okay. Zero. No zero. Okay. We're already at our next fishing hole. You can hear the frogs and everything still in the background. We've got wood, trees. It's looking good. Let's get us a top water bite. slow morning no worries though we're gonna have ourselves some fuel we're gonna refuel up get some good lunch and then we're gonna head back out and uh, Gators tell me that the afternoon bite is anyway, so. y'all just hang on we just fueled up with food now we're getting ready to go again I got a few more lures I'm gonna try this afternoon Gator you ready ready to vomit us Gator got us a couple more baits there was a uh, problem with one of the lures the choppers too much uh, the hooks the hooks were too heavy it was making it dive down too much he said no chop no chop have to change the hooks but we got more we got different baits we're gonna try some other things and uh, the evening should be any uh, better anyways it was a full moon last night I think they were uh, a little grumpy this morning they didn't want to feed Looks like we're gonna stop here. There's a bunch of bushes and a few trees on this point. And I guess we're gonna go more main, let's say main river. I was about to say main lake. Main river Amazon fishing baby for Mondos. Let's get to chopping. Okay. Woo, man, I tell you what, it's nice. You just get up here and everything's good to go. Oh man, oh that line is hot. Hot caliente, yeah. babre. <laughs> Not burn my thumb off. These choppers. I know hold the bush. Bush. Mm. 
nice thing about these. Oh, 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 yeah! Oh, that was cool. Nice fish. Yeah, good fish. Like second cast. Woo, baby. It's a good one, Gator. Yeah, baby. Nice. Nice. Woo, God, do you guys see that explosion? He came after it like four times. That was amazing. Okay. Okay. We get a little picture. And get him off the, the deal here. That's a beautiful fish. Beautiful fish. Woo, he's angry. Woo. There we go, baby. That's a nice Amazon peacock. Beautiful colors. All right, guys. Throwing the old fire tiger chopper out there. We got that one done. Woo. That old big phantom. Pretty much just whooped that fish. It was only like five pounds. Hopefully we'll get something a little bit bigger. I was kind of worried for a second because I had my drag totally locked. A little bit bigger one, I may need to loosen that a little bit. Oh, giant, oh my gosh, oh I got it, oh, 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 oh my gosh. That was the coolest top water strike I've ever seen in my life. Oh, it's good fish. Oh, he's in a tree, I gotta get him out. Oh, baby. Oh, that was awesome. Uh, oh, my gosh. That was insane. I still see him. Oh, there he is. Beautiful. Oh, beautiful. Woo, baby, look at that big in there, Gator. Woo, son. Give me some. That was awesome. You see that strike? Yeah. Yeah. Kaboom! Now that is the best top water strike I've ever had in my life. Goodness gracious fishing for it. Holy cow. I'm gonna remember that fish for the rest of my life. That fish came clear out of the water to try to get that. Oh my gosh. Oh. Wow, that just made my entire week. That was amazing. Ooh, baby. How much does he weigh? Let's see. Ooh, look. It's over eight. It's about eight? nine pounds, eight, nine pounds. Nine? Nine, yeah. Mm -hmm. Pretty good. Yeah. Very nice fish. Oh my gosh, guys. That is my biggest peacock of my life right there. That is a dandy. Oh, no. Oh no! Yeah, okay. That's okay. Whew, my heart was racing. I had to do everything I could just to keep my rod still, not to jerk it away from that fish. I thought he had it one time and it was on like Donkey Kong, baby. Big old Amazon Mondos. And guess what? Gator just said there's more in there. And they're big. They're nasty. Oh gosh, oh baby, that was awesome. Oh gosh. Whoa, what an explosion. Oh my gosh, you gotta love these peacocks, man. That's awesome. Got to love it, baby. Oh, that's about like that last one. He just pie-out it. If that's a word. Just made it up in my excited mind. Oh, let this little sweetheart go. Oh, ready. Oh, angry. No hope. No hook. He <laughs> broke the hook off. Oh my gosh, I just had a... Well, you guys missed it, but... 
It just uh, broke the hook off the lure. Um, I don't know if you guys see these split rings, but um, pretty freaking big. Pretty freaking big. It's crazy. Propeller. Yeah. Oh my gosh. Oh god. Oh, that's a big one. That's a big one. Yeah, okay, stop. stop. Big. Oh. Big one, big one, big one. Oh, he's in a tree. I see him. Oh, he's He's here. Oh, oh, oh. There he is. Oh. Almost Still on, still on. Oh, 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 almost off. He about broke everything I had right there. You cut the line? Yes. Yes? Okay. Oh, okay, okay. Pull. There we go. Yeah. Woo hoo, baby. Oh, baby, look at that. That is a pretty sight right there. Woo! There's another one right here. About another eight pounder. Beautiful fish right there. Oh, he's still crazy. Still going wild on me. <laughs> he's slapping me. Here, let's get him. Let's get him by the jowls. There we go. Get a good grip on him. Beautiful, beautiful fish right there. Ah, yeah. He about took that phantom out of my hand. I had that thing locked down. I had to press the thumb bar because he was just going absolutely crazy. That's awesome. Let's give him another sniff and let him go. Ah, I love you, baby. Love ya. To the otter. Gator, it was good. Good day, brother. Good day. Look at that guy swimming out there. Look at that sunset. Woo, baby. So gorgeous. The first day out fishing. Wow. Wow. What an experience. The best topwater strikes I've ever seen, bar none, in freshwater. Besides the black tip sharks that uh, I've seen hit a topwater plug, this was by far the best. Skyrocketing, coming back, swirling multiple times, thrashing everywhere. It was incredible. And if you guys don't like that, I don't know what to give you. But this was just one of those days I'm gonna remember for the rest of my life. And it was only the beginning of the trip. Now this morning was a little tough. We had some struggles. And I learned a lot of things today and I'll share more with you tomorrow on some of the patterns and some of the little tweaks and things that need to be done that I think will help us be more efficient anglers while we're out there. But overall, it's just an incredible experience being out here. Stopping in this town, you know, getting to experience the Amazon and the people and then going out and experiencing the peacock bass. I'm, I'm kind of speechless right now, to be honest with you. And tomorrow we're gonna move to another area and go get after it again. So if you like what went down today, there's a lot more to come, fishing freaks. Make sure to subscribe to the channel right here so you can stay tuned for all the new episodes of the Peacock Bass and we're gonna be catching whatever else is out here. But let me tell you something, if they're hitting top waters like that, I'm gonna keep chugging as long as I can. But thanks for tuning in today, fishing freaks. I'm gonna be putting up a video for every day I'm here, so keep it locked in and I'll see you on the next video.
It's just chop, 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 chop.